I have worked in film for about five years. Um, prior to working in film, I worked in book publishing and also um, at an internet web uh, site. So um, that was probably a total of three years, you know, after graduation. And then um, I started to intern at a very small production company in New York uh, called Forensic Films. And after that, I worked as an assistant to um, an executive at Miramax. After that, I worked uh, as an assistant to James Seamus at uh, Focus. And that was, I did that for about a year and learned, you know, kind of uh, the bigger picture um, rather than just kind of understanding the creative elements of, you know, writers and scripts and, you know, directors. I just learned more about how the business works. So I did that, and then most recently, I guess last year, I was promoted after kind of slaving away as an assistant for a number of years and making very little money and working long hours um, to a manager of acquisitions um, for Universal Pictures Group. I think, you know, what, um, what we do is try to identify, uh, yes, a specific kind of film, um, prior to arriving at the festival so that when we come here we kind of know you know what we would like to go after. Um, Universal uh, Pictures Group as I mentioned it really comprises of um, you know all of the kind of distribution outfits around the world that Universal has. So for Focus Features um, which is the specialty division of Universal you're looking for very um, you know, high level, high quality films made by, you know, either, you know, auteur uh, commercial directors or for people who are kind of on the cusp of, of being, you know, the next Ang Lee or Jim Jarmusch or um, Fernando Marielles or, you know, something like that. Um, and for Rogue Pictures, um, which is a genre division of, of Universal, we're looking, you know, primarily for horror films, um, for broad comedy, action, sci-fi, um, kind of uh, anything that we could release on a, a wide basis. Um, and then the other component is really looking for projects that we can distribute, perhaps not in the U.S., but in, um, you know, in a number of countries around the world. So that's a new kind of element um, of what we have been doing. The U.K., um, for me, my experience in the U.K. has been mostly limited to, you know, considering, you know, films and filmmakers that are coming out of, of, of that territory for the U.S. Um, and I think the U.K. generally is, you know, in the top, you know, is considered one of the top territories um, in terms of distribution, um, you know, among top three for sure. Um, so, so yeah, so it's definitely a very important territory for us. You know, in my, pers in my, from my perspective, I don't necessarily see, I'm not sure what the opportunities are for black actors in the UK. Um, and in the US, there's, you know, fairly limited opportunities, though, you know, it would appear that they're growing. Um, but on one level, it's still a challenge because, you know, in terms of the breaking of new talent is a bit, is a bit tricky. Um, there are so, you know, especially for studio films, um, because, you know, at every level, when a package is put together, you know, executives are looking for sort of green lightable actors. And so if those are not, you know, recognizable or have, you know, if the, if the actors don't have some sort of track record, it makes it quite difficult. Um, and that's a problem that black actors face in the U.S.